What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Exoria. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, whoops, press the wrong button. Last episode, we uh, made our metal caster, but we never got a chance to check it out. But yeah, making this thing required us to get into all the Adobe stuff and making thatch and all of this. I, I don't know. It was new and different stuff. I enjoyed doing it. Um, I did go ahead and make myself an iron pickaxe. Iron pickaxe appears to be strong enough to harvest our sluice box, which we had sitting here previously, right? I couldn't mine it with this pickaxe, the bean of cobble, but yeah, this pickaxe, yeah, it breaks it, no problem. Okay, so iron pickaxe to break that. Also, I was checking it out over here in um, our smeltery room, I guess. The iron pickaxe can pick up the iron casting table, whereas this pickaxe will not, right? So we can pick these things up now that I have this iron pickaxe, which is good. Uh, so what we want to do anyway is we want to use a metal caster. We want to cast out iron nuggets. So if we go back to looking at regular vanilla chests, this is what I wanted to get towards. So we need an iron nugget plus a trap door and some regular planks in order to get ourselves a chest. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a big upgrade compared to what we currently are using here. Like this stuff is kind of cool, I guess. Like, I, I'm sure we could still use one or two of these things for, like, displaying tools or something. But for general item storage, mm, yeah, not so great. Uh, so let's grab ourselves some iron here. So one of these turns into one nugget. And then we also have some trap doors here. So we have six. So let's just look at making, like, six iron nuggets for now. That'll get us, like, three large chests worth of storage space. I think that should be good enough. We will need some charcoal to get the iron melting, so we'll put that into the heater down here, and we will place the iron here. So we have to wait for the temperature to go all the way up. Now, one thing I noticed last episode, when I was melting tin, like the tin temperature was right here. Uh, today, I just did some experimentation. I casted a few more tin ingots, uh, so we're up to 15 of those. I was collecting our resources from our strainers up above, and we just didn't have enough space, so I melted some more down. But anyway... Uh, it seems like if you put the tin in and let this thing heat up, like as soon as it gets to the point where it can start melting, it does start melting a little bit. But as the temperature gets harder, it like melts, like this progress bar goes faster and faster for each uh, piece of tin. I, I thought that was interesting. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so metal caster, we're going to set this back here. I assume this is how this works. If I shift click that in there. Okay. So nugget mold goes here or here. I'm not sure which one. I think that should be fine. I guess we could take a look at like a uh, iron nugget and just double check how this looks in here. Metal caster. Yeah. Okay. So it just shows the nugget mold and nothing in this slot. Very good. Um, so we need to take this faucet and move that to this side because we're going to want to pour that into here. I assume that's how this is going to work. And then we have a redstone mode on here too. Interesting. I guess this is like storage. This must be storage for extra different molds. I can only imagine. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we are still waiting for this thing to <laughs> raise the temperature all the way up. I figured it would have been done by now, but this is taking just a little bit of time. Yeah, as the temperature rises, it gets slower and slower to get up to a hotter temperature. And as you can see, it's starting to slow down even more as we're watching it. But we're almost to that 1800, is that Kelvin, K temperature? Um, and then this will start melting. Are we there yet? <laughs> All right, so we're there. And we should see the progress bar going. Yeah, and because we're just barely at the melting temperature, this is going to go really slow. Uh, actually, it seems to have sped up just a little bit, right? It was going kind of slow at the start. Now it's going just a little bit faster. I guess it speeds up like if you're hotter than the base temperature. But yeah, like I said with the tin, like as that bar went up, like it was going really fast. This isn't very fast at all. Uh, anyway, so, so we got the 16 millibuckets. Let's try pouring that in here. There we go. There's two iron nuggets. All right. So that's pretty easy to do. This is, this is going to be really, really nice being able to get better storage here. Uh, it might be worthwhile now that I think about it. I was only going to do those six. It might be worthwhile for me to do just a few more of these, just so we have additional iron nuggets for later. I assume we can always melt down iron nuggets later on for other things, uh, to turn back into iron bars or whatever. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and melt down the rest of these. I'll turn 
what we have here into chests, try and rearrange our storage a little bit, <laughs> try and fix this and make it a little bit nicer, and we'll be right back, guys. Oh man, guys. Being able to just chop down these two by two trees, so good. Yes, we have all the wood. We don't have to worry about that. With our iron axe that I made earlier, we have efficiency, which means when we chop wood on the chopping block, we get four planks. And if we chop a plank, we get four sticks. So yeah, we got a lot of good stuff going on. Now I've collected a decent amount of wood now, and then I have plenty of saplings. I really don't need to wait for any more of these saplings right now. Yeah. Uh, I started off with four and now we got 15 like I could stick around and grab more of them But I think we're gonna be okay We're not gonna need wood for quite some time and when I do need to farm it I can always collect more saplings then uh, So this is what we're looking like down here now for our storage Yeah, I ended up having to make four more of these chests and in fact I was gonna make some more for this stuff over here. Yeah, we have lots of plants and growable stuff I guess I could throw some of those over here into this chest um, now one thing I never mentioned before and let me put these saplings up before I forget about them This chest down here has some like different things. These are stuff that we have not gotten uh, From any of the the normal means um, I was going around previously if we go out here to the map you can see I've explored around quite a bit I think right here. There was some kind of a structure that generated I found this, oh, I don't know, probably after like the fourth episode. I just haven't talked about it at all. It just hasn't come up yet. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I came over to here and there was some kind of a building. Let's sleep. Make sure it doesn't rain on us. We'll head over there real quick. Take a look at that. Uh, there is one of the waystones or is that what that's called? Yeah, there's a waystone there so we can warp there. So let's use this guy. And it's called a rune circle. I didn't name it. That's just what it's called. Uh, so we have these rune stones here from roots. We have the waste stone, which I activated a while ago And then it's got all of this stuff here. Yeah, some roots stuff I don't think we're quite at the point where we're gonna be messing around with roots But I figured you know, I had forgotten about talking about it So I figured we should probably talk about it But yeah, there's uh these chests in here with all these various different things in them more flowers and Randomness there is the book of the natural arts. I guess that's the roots book lots of flowers here some torches Another oh, no, it's a book of spellcraft Some rocks. I guess a wooden knife. I don't know if we even need that. What's this one? That's the bur book of herbalore, I guess Anyway, so I thought this was kind of cool I assume there's gonna be more structures around because this has got to be some kind of a custom thing uh I don't know if that's custom for the uh, the roots mod or custom for this mod pack, but yeah, I, I figure there's gonna be more around here. Anyway, I guess they picked up a uh, eggplant or whatever they call them, Albertine. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> In the United States, we call them eggplants, so that's what I call them. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we got lots of wood now, so I can put what we're we doing with the wood. I guess over here. So we're gonna be using spruce wood, I think, for most of our wood crafting, just because it's super easy for us to get that stuff, yeah. Um, and then I collected this other stuff. So I'm kinda of sorting my chest, similar to what I normally do. Up here we got like plants and mob drops, like uh, growable stuff, I guess, plant, well, not really growable, just like plant material and mob drops. Uh, the bottom chest we have, uh, actually, <laughs> this chest over here is where we have all of our blocks. This one is like our random mod items, things that don't really fit in one of my generalized chests. So like these rocks, like we can turn them into blocks, but we also kind of want them as rocks, but we can't place them in the world kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, that's why those are there. Let's put this stuff up, that stuff. Uh, persimmon, yeah, that's gonna go over here in this, I guess, when we uh, make another chest, which I was planning on doing. I wanna put all these things into like its own chest over here. Or I guess I can move them all into this one. But again, I don't think we're going to have enough space for all of that stuff. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so that's what we've been doing with our storage. So I wanted to move on with our quests here. I wanted to complete something else. So we made the iron axe, right? And uh, it says, with iron, I have access to more efficient tools and items. An iron axe should double the yield from chopping block and an iron strainer net should last way longer. So we made the iron axe, 
but we have not made the strainer. So it wants us to make the solid survivalist strainer and the dense one. I don't know what the recipe is. I haven't looked. It probably should have. So this does require iron bars. So that's iron rods. Ooh, how do we make iron rods? Okay, so we have to cast that out. So it's one ingot equals two of these iron rods. When we cast them out, we can do the rod cast or we can make ourselves a rod mold. Looks like it eventually will just be into immersive engineering. Okay, uh, did we make, I don't think we made the rod cast. If we can do the rod mold, I think that's probably gonna be the better way of doing this, right? Okay, so let's look at doing that. Um, that would be over here, I think we need refractory clay I thought I had extra blocks I guess not okay so the refractory clay and to get back to this thing to make this this one so that's a depth of one on the third from the left hand side okay so let's try and make that so we do this and a depth of one like so okay so that should do it I just need to get some charcoal which would be in here. This is our, I didn't, I guess I didn't show this one. This is our ores chest. All right, let's grab some of this stuff. And then I guess we are also going to need to melt down iron. Hmm. How many iron are we going to need? So we need at least six bars. So three iron ingots. Okay. I think we should be good here. I haven't tried melting down these ingots. I assume they melt down just the same way. It kind of looks like we have the little bar here and all right, we'll do it that way. Anyway, so let's get this thing cooked up so we can make ourselves uh, iron bars out of the mold. So this will just uh, heat this up and allow us to make the, yeah, the rod mold, I guess is all it is. Uh, so I did want to check this out. Yeah, that's extra storage there. So we can just do that. That's really cool. I like how it's got the in the same block item storage that's very useful okay so we just have to wait for this to melt out we'll cast out our iron rods and then we should be able to make the iron bars now it gives us 16 and it wants us to make one of each type uh and then we're gonna need an additional eight iron ingots on top of that i don't think we had that much iron did we mm -mm. pretty sure we don't okay well i'm gonna take some time I will cast out eight more iron ingots. That should be eight right there. <laughs> yep, let me do that and we'll be back, guys. So while this was all melting down, I decided to check out the metal caster a little bit more. It turns out you can put an ingot mold in here and you can use a metal caster for casting out all these different things. So I made a new plate mold, I made a new ingot mold. That way we don't have to have all those extra blocks around. We can just have the one block here, which is kind of nice so you yeah, just pour the iron in there and it uh you know does a little progress bar and you get this you don't have to wait for it to cool down really which is fantastic i like that a lot more uh with this storage here you can i think you just shift click it yeah you shift click it and it moves it over here or you can just like do a normal left click and take it out if you want but yeah this is quite nice i wonder if i can do block cast in here i bet you can i haven't tried that yet uh, but anyway, I got rid of like those extra blocks that we had around here just to kind of clean up some things And yeah, this is working rather well. I'll take the extra charcoal out of there. So we're not wasting uh, So we did need to still make ourselves these strainers here. So let's do that. Uh, so we need I think it's like this. There's one of them and then we need One of those. Okay, so that should be both of those uh, the iron bars. We are gonna have to make there's that, so we got 16 of those. Now it wants us to do this guy. So a solid survivalist strainer. Again, we need to click this and this to use the plus. Okay, so there's that and we'll do this again and click this one and there's that one. Whoops, did not mean to place that. Okay, so quest complete efficiency. So now we have the solid survivalist strainer and the solid strainer. Um, before I place those in the world, I kind of want to get to the point where we can automate this and collect the resources into a chest. We have not done that yet. I don't know if this will continue using durability. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this will continue using durability if it has nowhere for items to go. So I kind of don't want to do anything with that just yet, but, uh, we will be looking at automating that. I'm sure that's how we're going to need to get resources in the future here. 
so channeling all the liquids, let's do this. A casting channel. I've never really used these before in the past. I've never had a reason to, and I probably still don't really have a reason to. So I'm not sure if we're going to be making any of those uh, other than the one required here for the the quest. But this will allow you to like pour liquids into multiple like uh, things from a smell tree or whatever to like multiple casting basins or casting tables. Really haven't had much of a need to ever use these before. Filled with faucets to move liquids for casting. Yeah. So I guess you could make it so you could pour your liquids further away than right next to the smeltery or whatever the melter um but yeah we'll just make that just to get that quest out of here so that is now done um basic piping grinding my gears and then we have pump so i saw that this is something that unlocked a little bit ago we should probably take a look at this this wants us to make a gear mold it says i need more than just plates and ingots to be able to make machines just casting gears doesn't work uh yeah, just casting gears doesn't work. I need a better device to be able to get nuggets and gears. Interesting. Okay, so let's make ourselves a gear mold. This is going to do some kind of a hidden console command and unlock some more stuff for us, I suppose. So let's take a look. Gear mold. So to make one of these, okay, very easy. So we're going to need some charcoal, which we have on us, and some more of our refractory clay. All right, let's go make this real quick over here. So that goes there, and once again, whoops, wrong one. So I got it. So oh, I messed it up already. Okay, thankfully you can right click to to fix it. <laughs> Glad it's not just a one and done kind of a thing. And then these guys all like that. I think that's what it was, right? That looks right. Okay, so let's put the charcoal right there. We will melt that down. We'll get ourselves our gear mold. And then we should be able to make gears going forward, which is going to be nice. All right. There it is. That should complete the quest. Quest complete. You unlocked crafting underscore knowledge. Okay. Quest updating, grinding my gears. Okay. So this is all done. We don't need to claim that. That's just something that happened. Uh, resource automation. I think this just unlocked. I don't think this was here before, right? Retrieval tasks for chests and a crafting station. Ew. That's nice. If we can have like a regular crafting table going forward, that's going to be very, very good. Um, so pump it up. That's our next one. It says gears allow me to now automate better. I should be able to retrieve liquids such as water and lava with this pump that I'm about to make. It needs power, but I don't have that yet. But four wooden engines should suffice for my needs right now. Okay, I guess four wooden engines will be able to power the pump? Hmm. Okay, well, it wants us to make a pump from build craft. I don't know if that will allow us to get, like, infinite water. If that will, that'll be very, very nice. Uh, so to do this, we need a piston, some tanks bucket and then iron plates so the piston requires a tin gear okay so that is one of those things you gotta watch out for in mod packs like this how do we get glass clear glass crystal shards oh this has sky resources too in it interesting uh i'm trying to figure out Liquid glass, how do we get that? Just by melting sand, I guess? Okay, so one block of sand gives us one bucket of glass. Got it. And then, yeah, block mold. It even says it right here in the caster. Okay, very good. Uh, so I'll make another mold for that. I'm going to start working towards making this. I don't think there's anything too special here. Just making glass is something we haven't had to do before. And then making a tin gear. But we've seen how that gets casted out. Um... I think that's just going to be four ingots worth. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, well, let me start working on that, and we'll be back, guys. Okay, so a lot of the casting is done. Uh, things to note about making this tank, when you cast out the sand, well, you melt it down to liquid glass, and you cast it out. It turns into the Tinker's Construct, the clear glass. You can't craft these tanks out of the clear glass, but there is a recipe to convert the clear glass into the Minecraft glass, just put in your crafting grid or whatever, and it does that, right? 
Uh, anyway, so that's just one thing to note about that. Uh, we did need to make ourselves another iron bucket, so I made three more of these ten plates to do that. We should have everything together now to make this pump, I think. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Pump complete. We did it. All right. Quest complete. Pump it up. Uh, when I did collect that glass, however, we did complete another quest. Uh, this one. So glass clear. This wanted us to have one piece of clear glass. Um, so yeah, we did complete this one on, which one is this? this is the resource automation tab. Looks like we have to do sifting in order to unlock this, which is Sky Resources stuff. It is kind of interesting that this mod pack has Sky Resources and X Night Hello and like a lot of the other Sky Block stuff. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so that completes pretty much every quest on this page. We still have basic piping from Buildcraft to do, and then the ore berries, which I was kind of looking at here just a moment ago. Let's do these pipes. It said that we needed like four wooden engines or something in order to power the pump. I'm not exactly sure how accurate that is. Uh, for now, we'll put the pump over here. We don't need it on us at the moment. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at making these pipes. So wooden transport pipe. So a wooden trans, oh, there's an advanced one. Extraction pipe allows simple item filtering, and that's just an extraction pipe. Hmm. Oh, that's from additional pipes mod. It's like, when did Billcraft add that? Okay, so we need to get ourselves a branch, or I guess a stick, and then two planks. Very easy. So two planks and a stick. Plank, whoop. It's pretty easy and if you can figure out how to do this. Plank, plank, and a stick. You know, didn't we see that there was some upgrade where we can make ourselves the Tinker's uh, workbench? Can we do that? Is that is that a quest that we can do right now? I'd like to do that instead of having to deal with what we're doing. Um, I thought we saw there was a quest earlier that wanted us to do that. Now I don't see it. Let's take a look at that. If we want to make ourselves a, is it a crafting station? I thought we saw that somewhere, but now I can't. Stage crafting knowledge. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. So two crafting tables and two sticks will allow us to get a crafting station. I'm going to, well, I was going to pick that up, but I don't know. Do we need that workbench for something at the moment? Let's try doing this. And then we need two sticks. We'll pick this up, I guess. Okay, so can we do this, this, and this? Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, this is much better. So I see this has an inventory here. If I put something, oh, interesting. I wonder, I was gonna say, I wonder if you can automate this thing by having like a hopper go into it. I don't know if that's, worth it or not but that's interesting i didn't know that that had an inventory that this thing would be able to see oh this has got the balance grid and the rotate grid thing so if you do this you can kind of rotate those around that's really nice i like this i like this feature i'm not sure exactly uh what mod adds that but um the balance grid is really good in spread grid so you can do that and click this and it like tries to fill up all the slots that's really useful for making like uh, the compressed cobblestone and whatnot in other various mod packs. Anyway, so crafting station, yes, that upgrades our crafting game significantly, which is amazing. So cobblestone transport pipe, let's take a look at this. Hopefully we're not going to need uh, glass. I feel like we're going to here pretty soon. Stone rod and two cobblestone. We had a stone rod made from previous, I don't remember why. Oh my goodness, guys. Our first craft with a real crafting system. <laughs> so good. Uh, clay transport pipe. I assume clay blocks, terra clay, or regular clay. I'm going to leave the terra clay. We can just do loam. That'll be fine. Grab eight leaves here, and we will melt down the leaves into water. Let's cue those in one at a time. They don't go in, they start stacking, and stacked leaves don't seem to want to go into the crucible, I've noticed. Okay, so we'll do that, this, that, this, and I'll get my bucket of water back. There it is. Okay, so now we have that, so two clay. Oh, and then we need a piece of clay or muck or terra clay. Okay, what do we have for different various clays? 
Okay, so I'll use a terra clay clump. One of those, this and this. Okay, so there is a clay transport pipe. This is an insertion pipe. That's just a regular transport pipe, and that's an extraction pipe. Okay, so moving on, uh, chalk transport pipe. This is a, it says a roots items. Okay, I guess that's just a filter. So like you could split something going off one way or split off going the other way. So two pieces of chalk and a chalk dust. We have plenty of chalk. I don't see any chalk dust in here. I think we have to unblockify one of those. Okay, so chalk, chalk, and a dust. And there's that one. Okay, so that's going to give us like the basics for pipe sorting, I guess. And then we need one wooden engine. So four wooden gears and then some wooden planks. So wooden gears. So that's either sticks. What's the other recipe here? Sticks, sticks, and we can't make that one. Okay. So just a bunch of sticks really. Well, I mean, getting sticks now is pretty easy. Let's, uh, let's check this out. So we can put a log here. We hit it with the iron hammer, right? That gives us four planks. And then the planks now will turn into four sticks each which is really good. And it feels like I have to click that less amount of times too. I think it's three instead of four is what we were doing before. Uh, so anyway, we have the sticks. So now we should be able to split these up a little bit like so. And there is four wooden gears. Oh, we also need three planks, right? Okay, let's, uh, let's do that real quick. Okay. So now we have the planks. We can do that with the gears like that. And there is a wooden engine. I made the advancement my first engine. Questing complete basic piping. Okay. And that, that is going to give us a wrench as a reward, which is quite nice. Now, that was also talking about wanting to make four of these things earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and craft those real quick. Let me do that and we'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and I made four more wooden engines. We have a total of five of them. We're not really gonna be doing anything with these at the moment. We don't really have anything to automate right now. Probably our strainers will be good, but then we'll have to set up all the storage for that. So for the time being, we'll just throw everything into our chest over here. Uh, so I just was going through the quest book once again. I found, I found where I wanted us to make the crafting station. It's a retrieval task, so we haven't gotten credit for it since we which is actually kind of weird. We crafted it, we set it down, but we never picked it up. I guess that's the reason. Uh, so anyway, uh, it also wanted us to make a chest too, which apparently we never got credit for because we never had one in our inventory previously. So I will go ahead and put one in my inventory, which should update the quest here so that now it's complete. We'll break this and put it in our inventory, which should complete that quest completely. There it is. Making things easier. Uh... Now that I've gained some experience as well in how to store and craft more efficiently, I should use that to my advantage and improve my crafting and storage situation. So yes, that's something that we've done. So it looks like we're going to start unlocking, uh, ooh, basic auto crafting, compact storage, all sorts of good things like that. Uh, definitely looking forward to that going forward, but I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. Yes, we got our whole storage system improved. <laughs> I mean, we're just upgraded to vanilla chest. I mean, there's nothing like super crazy fancy about that. We checked out the um, the new casting molds and using the block caster or whatever the thing's called so we could do all the different molds in the one block. So much better than having a solid block for specific things only. I like that a lot. And we uh, finally upgraded our crafting. Yes, so good. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.